Welcome back to Pixelmon, guys. All right, so last episode, we were going to catch this Lapras literally in the same recording. But uh, let's do this. Lapras. Come on. There we go. There we go. So, uh, Thunder Fang, please don't kill him. Okay, okay. That, that's good. That's good. And then let's use, th let's use Thunder Fang. And then... Let's just use Sand Attack. So he can't attack us. My Jolteon just died. <laughs> All right then. Well, uh, well, we can't really attack him anymore because then he's gonna die. So let's use an Ultra Ball. I didn't decide to make any dive balls because I'm a genius. So let's use. Let's see if this Ultra Ball works. Come on, Lapras, join the team. Join the team. I would. I would totally just ditch you for ditch Blastoise for you. <laughs> uh, poor Blastoise, but. Oh, whoa! One shot. Jeez. Wow. That is. That's. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of cool. But, alright, all right, Blastoise, you suck at swimming. Holy, like, you need to take lessons at YMCA, man. You suck at swimming. The only thing good about you is you give me night vision. And that's probably the only reason I found that, uh, that Lapras. But Charizard, just they take me away. Thank you. Thank oh, wait, I found it. I found it. I found the ice mountains. This is what I was talking about, guys. Holy, holy, these are the ice mountains. This place where Articuno could potentially spawn. We found it. We found it. Not bad. And there are a ton of trainers here that I can't even train my Jolteon with. Because there's, there's no... Uh, I, I can't heal myself. Well, doesn't this kind of suck? Ah. Oh, this is a really... Never mind. It, it extends pretty out pretty big. Well, guys... I have to make a, I have to make a decision here. It, should I kill myself and then teleport back to this area? I feel like that's cheating, though. I feel like you, I feel like you guys would get pretty mad if that if if I did that. I don't know. I, I gotta make an ex executive decision here. An executive decision. Oh, you know what? We're, we're taking the coordinates down. The coordinates down. So we are at negative nine sixty seventy four one thousand nine. All right, guys. I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm kind of forced to. Slash kill. Wait, I didn't keep the coordinates. Oh no 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 no! Oh no, I still have it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll type that in, and then we'll keep a little sign somewhere. Uh, uh I don't want to break those. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where can I leave a sign? That tells us where these cord. Let's just make a sign. Jeez. I should have some signs left, though. Oh, there we go. All right. Right here. What was that? Negative uh, 960. I don't even remember anymore. There we go. So it was negative 960, 74, 1009. Ice mountains. Sweet. And now let's just heal up. And if we do somehow, potentially out of like a one out of a thousand chance, find an Articuno, oh my god, my life would be complete. Ah, uh, I love Articuno. Although, it's a little screeching thing is a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But let's slash TP, um, negative 960, 74, 1009. I don't want to have to do that, guys. I'll be completely honest. I really didn't. I really, really didn't. But I, I don't know. I, I didn't really want to run all the way back and then come back. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know that I think about it. We could have brought an Eevee with us. Because there's, like, these rocks here. We could have gotten a Glaceon. Oh, well, one Eevee at a time. One Eevee at a time. All right, so let's go back and find those trainers. And those guys should be pretty good uh, trainer dudes. Or Jolteon. Oh, there's a Dugon here. Perfect. 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 Uh, Flygon should be pretty good against Dugon, I think. Never mind. No, 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 no. Uh, Blastoise. No, Flygon's not good against Ice types. I forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. We're just gonna have to Skull Bash him to the face. And uh, Dugons are really good. They're like, they're just like Lapises because they have. Ice moves and their water types, which is just so OP. And it looks like it's not actually healing itself. Heh. <laughs> Jerk. 
Uh, what, what, wait, oh, Flygon's level 50 now. Yeah, we got two level 50s in our party. Um, a lot of you are telling me to catch a Jinx. I, I'm reading the comments. I don't know what's so good about a Jinx. Uh, I don't know, it looks like Miley Cyrus or whatever. But that's pretty much it, you know. Not much else that's good for a Jinx. And then, I think this should be super effective. Yep, goodbye. Goodbye. And, whoa, it's a pillow swine. Pillow, pillow, swine. it's a pillow swine, ice type, and ground. I'm not too sure. Let's see if this is super effective. Oh, it is. Jeez. Thunder wave. Thunder, um, double kick. Yeah, I chose agility to make it to boost its speed, so let's get rid of sand attack. Uh, Jolteon speed should be pretty fast, even by itself. Look. So level 33 and it's at 111, 111. Charizard's at level 50, it's only at 129. So Jolteon is a very, very fast Pokemon. Gengar is even faster, I think. Gengar is one of like the fastest Pokemon in the game. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. He doesn't even look that fast. But um There's a couple Magnemites here and there. A couple of Pidgeys here and there. Let's fly around some more. Because I, I don't like foot travel. This is not my thing. Not my thing. But this is uh, definitely Ice Mountains. Oh, yeah, Ice Mountains right up here. So if we actually fly away, fly back, fly away, fly back, enough times, we, we could. Like, it's guaranteed that he will find an Articuno. But it, it'd probably just take so much time. So much effort. I don't know. I don't think anyone's really willing to do all that, you know? Although maybe I am, you know, if I'm if I'm that desperate to find an Articuno, I will do that. I will. Oh, Extreme Hills. Oh, whoa, this is the this is the best. It's on the edge of an Extreme Hills and Ice Mountains and Plains, and it's a camera. Camera. These guys give so much XP. I love them. And then let's send out Blastoise here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we should have gotten our Lapras from the PC. Oh, well. Whatever. <laughs> I just want one. I just want one. Uh, what is that up there? Oh, that's a trainer. I thought that was a Pokemon. He's fat. And I have nothing against fat people. Believe me. You know, I love everyone. But eh, it's another village. But this guy, seriously. You, you look like a Pokemon. You, you need to lose some weight, man. You just, um, or you need to, like, get a new out. Did he just suicide, or did he just let his Pokemon go? Because I'm not too sure what just happened there. <laughs> oh, well, go with the flow. There's a village down here, so let's check it out, actually. Stop it, Mill Tank. I don't want to fight you. Don't. I, I really don't. Uh, nope. Right, let's check out the village. Apparently, we found a village that's like two houses. Uh, what is this place? A librarian? What do you have? Coal for an emerald. Wool for emerald. Why don't I take my seeds? I don't... You guys are terrible. I don't talk to you guys ever again. Well. Well then. Ooh, it's a jungle biome. Eventually, guys... Ah, there's just so many things to do in Pixelmon. I'm gonna have to burn down the jungle and see if we can... Oh, it's an Elekid. Ele Oh, I think these guys are actually pretty rare, so... Uh, I want to actually catch this guy here. Uh, let's send out Charizard. Please don't kill me. And then let's send out a level ball. Yeah, these guys are actually pretty rare, Elekids. They're like a little kiddish form of Electabuzz. So let's... Oh, wait, no, this is Eradicate. I don't want Eradicate. No, no, I don't want Eradicate. No, please. No, no, stop. I don't want Eradicate. Oh, well. Oh, you know what? That's an extra addition to our, PC, our Pokedex anyway. I've decided that right-clicking on a Pokemon is not as cheap. Because I've, I've realized that in the regular Pokemon games, you have to actually catch the Pokemon for it to be registered into your Pokedex. So, just right-clicking it, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's just cheap. So, I've decided against it. Every Pokemon that we found, I'm going to try to recatch. And this Elekid is being a butt. Jeez, that Raticate was like... Seven levels higher, and it just like went straight into the ball. Get in the ball, Ella kid. Stop it. You know what? I don't want you anyway. I can't stop. They just die. Just get out of here. I don't, I don't, I don't want you. Get, get out of my life. Just stop it. Stop. All right. So it's nighttime once again. And I don't know why I decided to catch a radicate. But 
you know it, it's an extra addition to our pokedex and by the end of the series or the one of the bigger goals of the series to catch every single pokemon so even the ones we've right clicked and not actually actually caught in i'm gonna i'm gonna try to catch those too so don't you worry guys i'm, I'm gonna be on top of these things i'm gonna i'm gonna get them done don't worry don't worry about it this extreme hills is so pathetic oh my lord uh machop right on yeah and then blastoise and then let's use an aqua tail get wrecked get wrecked kid get wrecked buy it get wrecked goodbye all right time set zero i dislike night travel it's just so dark and i don't know i, I don't like night travel it's just not my thing not my thing what is that down there i don't know should we look around the forest biome? I don't know. Should we? Should we look around? Mews have the potential to spawn here. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why I'm actually looking for a, uh, a legendary. I don't, I don't even think I'm in, like, competition for a legendary right now. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool just to see one, though. Like, just to see one? It'd be pretty cool. I kind of want to just find one. You just find one and... You know, you know, I've seen one. I've spawned ones in, in uh, in other Pokemon worlds just to see what they look like. But I've never legitimately found one by itself. So, you know, I kind of wanna just find one. Find one. Where are all the cool Pokemon? Jeez. All right, let's go back here, and let's see if an Articuno decides to spawn and be nice. Did, you, did, did he decide to spawn this time? I don't know. Let's just run all the way back, I guess. All the way back. Alright, sweet. So after we fight this Pharaoh, I think that's where we're going to call the episode. I know this one wasn't too long, but it's good to have a little combination. Uh, I did some more training on my own. So Jolteon is now level 40. Um, I think that's pretty good. And we just took out the Pharaoh. I don't want your feathers. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like. I think Jolteon is going to be a permanent member of our team. He's just fast. He's a good electric type. And then uh, I didn't really do too much leveling up on Turtwig's part. Partly because I'm not sure what I want to do with him yet. So uh, guys, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please, please let me know. Uh, I want to keep you guys as like interested and as, how should I word this, like connected? Or uh, as, as much as, as part of the series as possible. To keep you guys like... So you're, you feel like you're a part of it, you know? It's not just me playing. You guys are a part of it, too. So, uh, looks like we were not successful in our first attempt of finding an Articuno. Although, I, don't really, I wouldn't really consider this actually finding. All we really did was fly around and level up. I just, I just, I just wasn't successful in finding him. But that's okay. Uh, now we know where the ice mountains are. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. So we can always come back here, and again, it's going to take a lot of just flying in, flying out. Because uh, if, if you fly in and you don't see anything, you got to let the chunks reload, let the Pokemon reload, and then you, you have the one out of like 1,000 chance or something of finding, and, uh, you know, an Articuno. But I think we're going to give this one last try. Let's just fly back. I don't, I don't even think the chunks re regenerated. Uh, yeah, I don't think the chunks regenerated. Oh, well. You can check the ones all the way over there. <sighs> can you guys imagine if an Articuno spawn? I don't know. Uh, we can only we can only imagine the day when that happens. Oh jeez, I actually really like this new flying thing. It looks really cool in F5. I don't know. You know, this is nice and all. It's not bugged, but I don't know. This this one is just it just gives you still a much better view of your surroundings and stuff. So. Yep, again, looks like no Articuno, just looking through. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's like two little towers. Um, but yeah, alright, so no Articuno. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, again, make sure to leave a like. I would appreciate all the support. Let's see if we can get 30 likes. And then I think I will see you guys in the next Pixelmon episode.